guys welcome back to the channel and in this video i'm going to tell you how to complete this task number eight because many of you are facing the issue on the task number eight so first of all once you're done with all the other tasks okay like task number one to task number seven so what you have to do just go back to your assessment in the status zone and here click on this create new assessment now here click on this manual assist and for the name just i'm just giving the name quick lab now for the uh, sponsor name just give student okay now for the sponsor email id just copy your lab email id and paste over here like this now click on save now here again give the assessment name quick lab now click on this manual and click on save and next now here please pay attention i will share one link in the description box okay so just copy this link okay and I would like to thanks one of our friend Kukesi for sharing the link with us. So just copy this link. Click on this plus icon to your RDB section. Now just paste the link and hit enter. So one file you download to your system. Now just go back to your status zone and make sure you have to choose machine information. Click on this upload option. Click on this choose file and choose that lab server list dot CSV file. Now click on open. Now make sure you have to use uh, use only provided IP address specific in the imported file. Click on that. Make sure you have choose that option and click on upload. Now just wait for a second. Now click on this refresh. Okay. And once you done with that, you can see upload proceed. Now click on save and next. Now just wait for a second. Now here just scroll down at bottom and click on this complete import. Click on that. Now just wait for a second scroll up and here you will get one notification from the status zone so just wait for that notification so here you can see the file has been processed successfully now just wait for a couple of seconds and you will get one more notification like the inventory has been updated okay so just wait for that if you just come over here and here you can see we got the inventory which we required okay and uh, now what we have to do so if you just come over here and click on this check my progress you will get a score without any issue now for the task number nine and here what thing happening so yeah that is a notification which i am talking the manual upload has been added to your inventory so now what we have to do we have to just create some reports so just copy this first name click on this generate report okay just paste the name over here like this click on the select filters click on that now here just choose the private data center now from here choose the on demand from here choose the one year and now for the three year now click on create report so you are done with the task number nine also now time for task number 10 so just simply copy the name check for the inventory title so again click on this report here is the inventory click on this now just paste the name like this and from here choose the file like this and click on create report so you will done with the task number 10 also so if you just click on check my progress you will get a score now we have to create one report for detail pricing so just copy that click on reports again and here is the detail pricing so click on that now click on this and paste now simply select all as we done in the other st stuff so just like this it must be on demand one year and three okay click on create report so you are done with this task if you just simply click on check my progress and you will get a score without any issue now here the on the task number 14 so what is happening when you go back to your result and if you just go back to your database so sometime you will get this kind of page so if you are getting this kind of page so what you have to do just go back to reports again and click on this inventory option click on this generate report and here just scroll down copy this name okay and paste the name over here like this from here just choose the select all and simply click on create report make sure you have to just give this name now if you just click on check my progress you will get a score without any issue now on ta task number 13 we have to do anything now for the task number 14 if you just click on reports again okay now if you just scroll down okay and if you just check there is no container fit assessment report 
and in the live session they have mentioned that it might take 10 minutes so if you don't want to wait till now so just again copy the name again just scroll up in the inventory section click on the generate report and just paste the name and from here just choose the file for select all and click on create and that's the way we have to complete this lab if you still have any doubts please let me know in the comment section guys thanks for watching and have a good day okay let me just check okay so it's got score thanks for watching and have a good day guys